All right, so here we are back at, I think this is going to be uh, part four. So it's the thrill of the chase, and my name is Paul, and this is my solve giveaway, and it's like multi-part. It's becoming like this monster. But, you know, I had, for the longest time, I had lamented over doing, providing this solve, and I just knew so many people were just going to slam me on it. And I get it. There's, like, gaps and things. And you're like, hey, how come it doesn't fit exactly? You're not mentioning, matching it exactly to the Thrill of the Chase poem. Got it. I understand. Um, just come along with me on the ride. It's uh, part four. And, you know, this is um, where we ended up in the last part. Is we ended up, you know, we came down from the home of Mali Brown. You know, it's not far, but it's too far to walk. And, you know, you come up that amazing... Uh, walkway into this plaza and you find this military figure here and this military tribute to American forces and just 200 feet away you find the 5,280 5, foot level um, for um, sea level in the state capital of uh, Denver um, and you walk up the stairs and so this is where I left off last time, and, I mean, you really have to come along with me on this ride and really understand it, where, you know, I was there with someone else, and, you know, we, the two of us, you know, we, we took it for what it was. I mean, we were definitely on to, we thought we were on to something, you know, and so, um, let me cut over back to this PowerPoint. Here we were, you know, it was a beautiful summer day. It was unbelievable. Um, it was beautiful weather. It was unbelievable, you know, it was in the 80s. Who cares? I mean, what the weather was. But it was nice. And um, so, you know, you walk up the stairs, and this is a picture this is of the stairs leading up to the state capitol, and it shows the 5,280-foot level of um, at the state capitol there in Denver, Colorado. Excuse me. So when you walk up the stairs, you see a plaque there. And um, when you walk up to the plaque, this is what you see. Um, it's a Logan's Memorial Day order. And uh, it's long. It goes on. It has a lot of words in it. and But um, it's Logan's Memorial Day order um, to the headquarters of the military. You know, and you have to read it. You can look it up. You know, and he talks about how essentially paraphrasing about how the Republic of the United States, you know, survived the Civil War and how, you know, this terrible war has occurred and how so many men and women, how many people, you know, died and soldiers, you know, and that, um, that we have this sacred vigilance, we have this sacred uh, responsibility, you know, to our soldiers who have, you know, given their lives, you know, to pay tribute to them. And that is what uh, Logan's call was um, to, on that day. And so we kind of, we, we stood there on that day, and when you turn around, this is what you see um, from, essentially, from um, where we were standing, you turn around the opposite way, and you look across this park, and you see the obelisk, and um, you see the cannon, I don't think I have the picture of the cannon, and, uh, you know, we went out into the park, this is uh, a, probably about a quarter mile out um, from where we were standing, if you go look back, that's where that is, and this is out in the park, and, I mean, we we must have spent at least a couple of hours running around this park, looking under trees. You know, these trees are very old trees that have been planted for a very long time. We were looking all over the place for this thing um, because our impression was, is this the canyon down? Um, and is there, you know, the obelisk is brown. Okay, it's red. You know, we went crazy looking all over the place for this thing. And... Um, Another thing that's kind of crazy is there's this, like, gate here, this kind of artistic thing. If you go down there, you can see there's all the fish swimming in the river. And um, 
another thing too is you know we had we had discussed that there's all this stuff about we had heard things about crossing the road and you do this is a you know a major road and you have to kind of run across the road there to avoid traffic and you know it all seemed to kind of click together here's the obelisk looking back up you know where the stairs are and the man carrying the gun and then there's the uh where we saw the logan's um proclamation there so um we're wandering around this place looking all over and trying to figure it out um what we're looking at and we have to we had to admit is that we're looking at this thing and i mean there's this gold rotunda it's absolutely stunning and it really was i mean it is a beautiful park and it is a beautiful um state capital it's it really is stunning and i i have to admit i mean i'm not into not hugely into that stuff but i've seen a lot of it in my life but it definitely is it definitely was breathtaking to sort of be there and see this um it just happened to be a beautiful summer day and it was kind of astonishing to see um the structures the way they were to the left on or i'm saying on the left or further on in the park there's the statue i think uh opposing this one there's a picture of an indian and we found this interesting is that um you know, there's this uh, this cowboy riding this bronco, and then on the other side there's an Indian, and it has there's a plaque there, and we thought that was very interesting, and we studied it, but I still don't think it's of relevance today. But we just found it very interesting that um, these tributes to the West, and they're in bronze, and uh, that didn't seem to lead to much. And uh, so we went to a baseball game. Um, the um, the Colorado Rockies baseball stadium is about 16 blocks uh, north of there. And uh, so we went to a ball game and we're, um, you know, we had a good time. We were enjoying ourselves and we had a bunch of drinks and um, Colorado won. And we just kind of kept thinking about it all day, um, all afternoon, all evening, and um, could not stop thinking about it. Um, even the next day when we drove out up into Wyoming, we're heading back to the um, Pacific Northwest, to the greater Seattle area, um, that um, we stopped here. This is a very famous, also, um, military site, and, you know, we stopped here, and we were enjoying the scenery, and some of the, this is a famous location in history where there was a military battle between um, the indigenous Indians and these settlers and there's a military base there and anyways we were we were enjoying the site and having a good time and we just kept reviewing in our minds we had been talking about it for over a day over and over um about what we had seen in denver and this idea about that we had been to the house of molly brown and um so put me in here for a little bit. You know, we had been to the house of Molly Brown and, you know, we saw Pennsylvania Avenue and we had hiked down. Um, and it is a little bit of a canyon down. I mean, you have to walk down the hill, you know, and there's kind of a bowl or a larger plaza and there's the state capitol like I showed you. And then you have to kind of hike up those stairs and you walk up into that open plaza area and you see the soldier in bronze with the gun and there's a couple of uh, cannons there. And then you walk up the stairs, and then there's the marker of 5,280 feet. And then there's the plaque on the wall that's uh, Logan's um, response to the death of so many soldiers. It's such a terrible war, which is a civil war. You know, and then we had parked. We had to walk all the way back that day um, to our car, and we had to hike back up the hill. And um, I think I had this... Let's click back here. There's Logan's Memorial. And uh, we hiked back up the hill. And, um, you know, when we were walking back up, we noticed, um, you know, that the, the name of the street is Logan Street, which is just one street down from Pennsylvania Avenue, whereas it is the house, um, the home of Molly Brown. And, um, uh, 
you know, we kept talking about it for hours driving, and I think the night before, and even at the ball game, and um, you know, we were scratching at ideas. And um, oops, I'm going too far back the wrong way. Sorry. And we're sitting here, you know, on this beautiful summer day, and um, we got back to our car, and you can get back to the freeway from this location, and we got cell service again, and we stopped to get gas, and we were, um, you know, like any other travelers, we pulled out a laptop, and we were trying to respond to emails and stuff, and, you know, we started Googling, Googling <laughs> Logan, and... Um, that's when um, it popped up on a Google search, and I think it was another one of those moments where um, we were sort of befuddled at what had what we had seen um, there in Denver. You know, we were like at first, you know, we thought we had figured it out. We were like, we've we've, we've got this figured out. You know, what I mean, it's got to be somewhere down here in this park in, in Denver. And we're like, you know, what a slick idea, you know, that he left it somewhere in a park, you know, and we're looking up in trees, below trees, and, um, you know, and we came, we came to the realization that, I mean, when we were there, we saw park workers from the city of Denver, you know, trimming the lawn, mowing the lawn. I seen some, we saw some guy with a shovel, you know, like, there was a sprinkler head busted, and he's, like, digging with a shovel aggressively, and some other guy with some other large piece of equipment, and we were like, there's no way that it could be in, I mean, we were still, we were still, like, thinking, is it, wouldn't that be hilarious of Forest Fan to leave this thing, you know, in downtown Denver, um, in an urban area, and, um, so when, but at one point, um, we googled Logan, and it came up with a bunch of things, and history, and stuff like that, but the one that kept popping up was something about, and here we go, um, again, down the rabbit hole, and um, it kept coming up, and I had been there once before, um, and <laughs> when it came up, it was another moment where you were sort of like, the hair on the back of your ste- neck stood up, and it was just sort of like, you know, you just sort of do that little bit of a jaw drop. And there's a moment of silence, and you just kind of go, there's no way, there's no way that this thing could be like that. And so what it was is, um, let's see if I can swap over, I don't know how, how I had these pictures set up, let's see. So um, we decided, based on what that what we saw there, what we saw, um, the information that we got is, uh, and we were in southern Wyoming, um, when that happened, and so we decided, um, we took an abrupt turn north, and we headed, um, I'm sort of fibbing, I mean, we went out to, um, we just took a different route, anyways, we, we kind of went back the way we were expecting to go, which was out through, uh, Boise, and, uh, and, but there was enough discussion along the way, you know, because a lot of miles, a lot of, windshield time to kind of parse this over and over and a lot of stops at gas stations and so forth and highway food and pizzas where we kind of kept mulling it over and mulling over and we're kind of like hey we have the time so let's just go there and so um the decision was kind of made on the fly to go further north and to go to this place that filled in the gap of what we were talking about, what that was, that it was Logan Street, and you had Logan's um, uh, statement about the Civil War and the respect for the dead, and um, that's going to be the next part of this other video. And I'm, you're going, you're, I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you exactly where we went, exactly what it was, and exactly what it is. So stay tuned. I think this is part four. Maybe this is part five. I don't know. Anyhow, four, five. Anyways, I'm going to do the next one. I think it's going to be like one more, maybe two more, and then you'll know everything that I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you in pictures. I'm going to explain exactly what it is we did, how we did it, where it was, um, and what happened um, along the way. So, 
tune in and thank you for uh, watching and stay tuned.